Another guy that we'll have to wait and see on rounding out my top 24 wide receivers is Jahan Dotson. If you've been following JWB for some time now, you know that we are big time Jahan Dotson stands. I have uh, credited myself as leading that charge uh, because I like to be right. And I feel like I was uh, pretty right to be in on Jahan Dotson. Really showed out in... Um, yeah, I guess limited time again, dealt with injury last year, but definitely scoring touchdowns, looking terrific on the field. Uh, I have him now over Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin is sneaky ancient, by the way. We'll get there uh, yeah. in this video. But uh, Jahan Dotson, I think for a lot of people, not just myself, is the odds-on favorite to take over as the number one wide receiver in Washington as soon as this year. And yeah, I didn't. I can't say enough good things about Jahan Dotson. I really think that he's going to be something. Just a guy who, despite his somewhat undersized frame, has always been able to be a reliable target. He was a major, major target at Penn State his final year there and has really done nothing in his short stint so far in the NFL to really change my mind on any of my priors on him. Um Talk some sense into me, Jake. Are, am I too too far over my skis on Jahan Dotson, or is this about where you have him too? It's about where I have him too. If, if we think about Jahan Dotson and what his career kind of looks like, it, it's very early on, but he's a contested catch guy. He he was very good at it in college. He's very good at it. Uh, his his rookie year in the NFL, 19th in football and contested catch rate. 50 50 ball truly every time he was you know if he if he went up it was a 50 50 ball he came down with 50 percent of them um mm -hmm. you know the the red zone volume looks really nice the as we know the touchdowns are there if he can be that safety blanket that guy where you know i can just throw it up and trust it whereas terry you know terry a guy we'll talk about in a little bit like you said always been a guy who's won on those deeper routes you know, Dotson had a 13.5 ADOT last year. It was 14th highest in football. If that comes down a little bit, he gets a little bit more of a red zone role here. Like you're looking at just as comfortable of a wide receiver too, as it comes. And he doesn't, you know, it doesn't take a lot of thought or, uh, you know, outside of the box projection to get him there. Like when he was on mm -hmm. the field, he was doing quite a bit. He was clearly a favorite target of two different quarterbacks at times in that offense. Like he's the red zone guy. If, if he can maintain that role, we're talking about a guy who's going to score eight to 12 touchdowns every single year. He's not going to need 140 targets and hundred receptions every year to be fantasy relevant. You know, he's a guy, you know, kind of the opposite of what DJ Moore has always been. DJ Moore was always going to give you 10 targets and you were going to hope he found the end zone. John Dotson's going to find the end zone. We just got to hope that the rest of this stuff comes along. So I like Dotson there. It's maybe a little high for me, maybe just a couple of, but like it's a couple spots. It's within the same tier. I don't think it's mm -hmm. too outrageous to have him where you have him. Yeah, I will say some of the underlying stats not as great on Dotson. Uh, I do kind of think there are some factors that you can throw into that as to why that might be, uh, including the offense, including the quarterback, having previously established a relationship with other receivers, including coming back from injury. So there are a few things that, in my mind, give him a bit of a pass on why stuff like the targets per run was a little bit lower than some of these other guys in this range that we're talking about. Um, it's really about the flashes for me. And like we've been talking about, it's just a uh, kind of a complete profile of a wide receiver. Like he can win at all areas of the field. And so that's what gets me really excited is if he can take the next step this year, then I really think we might have something with Jahan Dotson. Yeah. I mean, we saw it down the stretch last year too. Like we said, you know, he dealt with some injuries as soon as he was like back in a main role in that offense playing over 80 percent of the snaps he was averaging over eight targets a game and multiple mm -hmm. red zone targets you know throughout all of those stretches too he was getting red zone targets with taylor heineke carson wentz at quarterback like you said a bad offensive scheme that has never really worked well if cam newton wasn't the quarterback in the offense yeah. and you didn't have christian mccaffrey the running back room was a mess the offensive line struggled at times the defense struggled at, like this was just a generally bad team, but Jahan Dotson was kind of that bright spot. And if we've seen offenses do anything recently, it's when they have one bright spot, they lean into it. And I would, it would not shock me, especially given Terry being a little bit ancient, as, as you uh, alluded to there, it, it wouldn't shock me at all for Dotson to very quickly take over the spot as the guy there. Mm-hmm. 